All right, guys, we are back with some more Outriders, and it's been probably about five days since I last recorded. Um, that bad throat I said I had, um, that felt like it was going away, but it came back with a vengeance and in a form of a full-on infection. So I've been, I've completely lost my voice. I was, I was unable to record. Um, so yeah, apologies for that. But um, I ha did play a lot. Um, I did, and I wish I knew this before. Um, I was using the resets, uh, reset story point option in the menu to uh, replay missions, to um, upgrade my gear, upgrade my levels, and stuff like that. And what you're seeing on screen right now is a screenshot of the last episode of my stats. As you can see, they're pretty low. I'm only level 26 here, and if I press this button. That's my stats now. I'm now maximum level. My world tier is 10. And, uh, yep. Everything is uh, fully leveled. I've modified. I spent a lot of time on this. Pistols I don't really use that much. See, that's pretty cool, this uh, shield zap. Um, if... You take enough damage, your shield activates, and if you take another bit of damage, uh, like a melee hit, um, it will just it will it will shock enemies all around you, uh, which is pretty nice. And this right here is probably this it's probably the uh, the coolest uh, mod um, I've come across so far, the Phantom Dash. And pretty much all that allows me to do is. Yeah. So other than looking cool and being able to uh, dash behind enemies and doing a bit of damage to them, it doesn't really do that much else. Um, I've done, I did some, I did some testing, and those snipers, man, they can hit you mid dash, so you can be in, a, you could be here completely invisible, and you will still get hit. Um, yeah, those snipers, man, they really do need sorting out. And this is pretty much going to be my build, <coughs> excuse me, for the rest of the playthrough. It's pretty much all melee. And depending on how hard things get from here, I might be dropping down a couple of world tiers, probably to world tier 7 or 8 for the rest of the playthrough. You know, just to mitigate all the deaths and all the possible deaths uh, that might occur. Anyway, that's enough babbling from me. Um, let's continue on with the main story, shall we? Oh yeah, the main purpose of my farming was to get titanium. Um, replaying uh, re uh, previously completed missions, uh, bosses and elite enemies. The warden from the, uh, the dunes mission. <clears throat> where you got to discover the light source. This was uh, the, uh, the objective just before what we're doing now. Um, yeah, depending on your world tier, it can drop up to, I believe, 12 titanium a time. So just kill him, let all the enemies kill you, then you just respawn at the bottom of the hill there. And you can just go back and kill him again. And that's how I leveled up. That's how I got my world tier. Well, the world tier doesn't count if you die. So I'll, that was basically replaying missions. The level was just... Just from farming the warden. That was it. Anyway, let's uh, continue. Here he comes.
And now the sheep. Good boy. Oh, there's another bird. Cross this wall with you guys. <clears throat> Titanium would have been a nice drop. So yeah, I haven't played anything uh, past this point story-wise. It's just been uh, mission replays. It's been the same in my Pyro, uh, Pyromancer playthrough. I haven't gone any further than what I am at this point. You know, keeping the game spoiler free and all that. Hopefully the video quality looks a bit better as well. I'm recording at a much higher bitrate. I was originally calling, uh, recording at 4,000 bitrate. I'm now recording at 13,000 bitrate. Nope, don't want you. I'm too used to playing Pyro. Yeah, my life leech at the moment on this weapon is insane. So I mean, I just destroyed that guy. So yeah, I think it's safe to say I'm a lot more powerful than I was in the last episode, which is nice. Because if I had those stats previous, I would probably have died a couple of times there. I want blues.
another warlord. I think it's time to back up a bit. That's a really cool thing about the the, the the life leech on this weapon. I can stay alive. Oh, they're all in there. pile of reports here. You're kidding. From the people who were here. What's in them? It looks like they encountered the same hostile natives as we did. They called them ferals. They established this fort as a base to send out scouting parties, trying to track the ferals down. But eventually, the ferals found them. Doesn't look like anyone survived. The name Munroy appears a lot. I think he was their leader. Munroy? Some ammo before I continue. <laughs> cool door. Something right there, okay. I'm gonna try the my sniper out yet. Nice. Okay, Zahidi, the path is clear. 
Waiting for your arrival. So what's the betting this is going to open up and a ton of enemies pour out? It seems like a very small, a uh, very big area for um, a small amount of enemies. How many how many logs are in this region anyway? Oh, I've got them all. There's only one. Okay. I know it. <clears throat> Zahidi, lay low. I got company. This life leech is insane.
Bye. Nice. Zahidi, I think that was the last of them. They attempted an ambush, but the outpost is secure. Try and keep it that way this time, please. That was actually a really cool fight. I, I, I knew these were going to open up. Yeah, the life leech is pretty insane. 18% and 16% on the healing. It's not. It's not possible. Only one interstellar ship ever left her. Ours. Then who were they? Doesn't matter. Those coordinates. We find them, we plug in, and we contact the damn Flores. Ready to go on your word, boss.
I'll keep all that just in case. Can I raise the attributes on that? All this time I've been so focused on reaching the signal. I didn't spare a thought on the signal's purpose. Yep. That would help. That's the last thing I expect. So by the looks of it, this is pretty much going to be my gear until I get legendaries. That's maxed. New area. Three journal entries in this map. Really? Stay here. I'm going to try and secure a safe path through these canyons. Let me know if you can reach that massive obelisk we saw. I've never seen anything like it. August also seems drawn to it. I'm sensing great agitation. August wants to follow you. Hold August until I'm through, Tiago. <laughs> it's not safe. Okay, I'm going to call it there. That was the uh, the rest of the Echoes mission. So next episode, we are going to be starting Sacrifice. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. And once again, apologies for the uh, uh, delay in recording. My, my throat is better. I can get back to making videos so uh yeah hope you enjoyed thank you for watching and until next time take care and as always i'll see you all later